kao da su potpuno nezvezni prema tragediji. Niko od ovi ljudi nisu ikada znali za padnju. Nikada nisu znali za rat. Nikada znali za straj nesigurnost što dolaze sa time. Oni nikada nisu morali da žive od dana do dana. Znajući da zvaka zora može da pore za nje. U nekom smislu, ja sam ljubomoran prema njihovem neznanju. It's about time you started talking. I can't help you if you don't talk to me, dear. These sessions aren't for my benefit, they are for your benefit. See, you're turning the issue around again. We aren't here to talk about me. Maybe it's time we talked about your relationship with your mother. Now see, it's obvious to me that you're just following up your emotions right now. You need to vent. Let out your frustrations. You need to let go of this negative emotional energy and move forward with your life. Listen, I'm, I'm fine. Can I just leave? We still have 20 minutes, dear. For the love of God, just stop calling me dear. This is a prescription that honestly, I think you desperately need. Maybe level out your emotional peaks to somewhat manageable degree, then we can tackle this problem. Wow, that is a horrible way to look at life. And you know what? It really does sicken me. But don't you think it'd make you happy? It doesn't matter. She's not coming back. When? When? I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing in this classroom? What do you want, Josh? Well, you miss history again today, and it's getting late. I've been hearing a lot of rumors about you lately. Really? I didn't know you were one to believe in rumors. Normally, no, but I mean, they're saying you're smoking, drinking, even picking fights with people. Well, I'm not going to take any shit if that constitutes getting in a fight, then so be it. Stop. I'm worried about you. Let me throw Josh. Wait. Is it true what they're saying about the alcohol? Are you drinking a lot? Oh my god. Look, you're going to mess up your life if you keep doing this. I can't believe you're still upset about your mom. You don't know anything, do you hear me? Why don't you just go back to your perfect little world? You know what? I'm done. Alright? No wonder you were going all the time. Wait, wait. Are you... Are you alright? It's nothing. Forget about it. Wait, what do you mean? People f***ing die all the time. I mean, it's nothing special, is it? What? What are you talking about? You wouldn't understand. What? I mean, you're not from around here. You're from Russia or something? What's your name? Z... Zvonimir. And I'm from Croatia, not Russia. It's all the same. I'm Josh. I'm sure. Have a nice day, Josh. Seriously, don't mess with her. She's a lost cause. Broken in the head? She doesn't know when to let go. You sound pretty broken yourself, man.
no, 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 Spit! Spit! <coughs> <coughs> what were you doing that for? Why should you care? You first, why are you doing this? He wouldn't understand. Well, try me. Try. Okay. Have you ever lost someone that you love? Have you ever felt the world collapse around you into tiny pieces that are burying you under them? Do you even know how that feels like? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I've seen death firsthand. I've seen the world falling apart around me. Buildings being destroyed, shrapnel flying all over the place, destroying everything in its path. <sighs> Believe me, I know loss. Two years ago, I was sitting at home, watching a TV show. Everything was normal, you know? A soda, so my mom went to go get it. That's just the type of person she was. The convenience store was only down the road, so you know, she walked. What's the point of driving? Well, my TV show ended, she wasn't back, so I thought, you know, she just took the car or something. They kept getting later and later. At 10 o'clock, the doorbell rang. I looked first before I answered it, you know, just like my mother always told me to. It was a police officer, so of course, you know, I opened up. He asked me to come with him, and he, he wouldn't tell me why. I was thinking, you know, what have I done? What, what did I do? Because I didn't think I had done anything. Well, we got in the car. We started driving. We stopped. By the convenience store. Across the road, there were cop cars and flashing lights and people starting to gather. He, he led me through the crowd and asked me to identify the body. Your mother. Yeah. Some crackhead who didn't have enough money to get his next fix took her purse. He stabbed her right in the heart. Took the drinks and all. You just see the look on her face. When it is not fair. But it is not your fault. Yes, yes it is. If, if I had just had water or something, I didn't need a drink from the store. No, no, look, look. You were just being yourself, just like your mother would have wanted. I know, my mother was the same way. Listen, Gwen. What happened was horrible. It should not have happened. But it was not your fault. I mean, we, we don't have control over these things. It's, it's life. All we, can, all we can hope to do is just try and keep on living. This is going to sound silly, but you're the foreign exchange student, aren't you? Yes, actually. What's your name? Zvonimir Drashar. That's Croatian, isn't it? Uh, yes, actually. I bet people usually think you're Russian, don't they? <sighs> Let me tell you a little story. 
I was born in Vukovar, Croatia, near the Vuko River in 1986. In 1991, Serbian troops began a siege, resulting in the Battle of Vukovar, one of the first of many battles in the Croatian War of Independence. I was five when uh, I saw the world being ripped apart around me. My family had decided to take his chances, so we stayed in the city. It was, <laughs> it was a scary time to be a Croat, to say the least. It must have been horrible. <laughs> that is one way to put it. Uh, children can adapt themselves to uh, pretty much any situation, of course, so I imagine I handled it fairly well. Uh, a lot of what happened back then is a blur to me, but I think I started paying closer attention when I realized my family had become a victim of the Lukovar massacre. Wait, what? It was purely accident that my father was at the hospital when Serbian troops rounded up 200 people, soldiers as well as civilians. They were taken to Ovchara, a nearby prison camp where my father and all the others were beaten and executed by a firing squad. The soldiers buried their bodies with dirt, covering them with bulldozers, like a, like a masquerade or something. The thing is, my father, he was not a soldier. He was... he, he worked in the textile industry. The only reason he was even at the hospital in the first place is because he had been caught in a, a crossfire between two opposing forces. I mean... Anyway, we, we didn't find out what really happened until much later, of course. But why would they do that? <laughs> Who can say? People, people tend to do uh, crazy things when they're scared or confused. Uh, especially... Especially during times of great hardship. So, thanks for helping me clear my mess, I guess. <laughs> He's nothing, yeah. Uh, it is a little embarrassing to admit this is not my first encounter with alcohol spill. Well, that's not really it. I guess you just kind of put perspective into things. So, why, why are you here in America? I don't really know anymore. I guess I was looking for something. Well, like what? I don't really know. Um, maybe hope. Maybe purpose. Did you find it? It's much later than I thought. Yeah, we should go. There's another way out this way. Sounds like you're not afraid of anything. Well, I've seen a lot in my life, and not a lot of it is particularly good. What are you afraid of? You? I felt more today than I have in I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I came in to find you. I keep doing things on uh, uh, impulse and... Thank you. For what? For finding me.
Shtë gotë por për ju dromë të nësi Vrijet i qësë vizatibe Kuen